Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner. We're back with some more Space Engineers. Uh, continuing on with the large ship build. Now, in the last video, I discussed uh, one of the things I, I would like to add on to this ship. Th something I felt was lacking in the way that the ship was set up. And that was some kind of mess hall area or recreational area for uh, the crew. We have crew quarters, we just don't have a mess area or anywhere for the crew to entertain themselves or, you know, the times when they are not on duty uh, to, you know, enjoy themselves. So, uh, I kind of started off the process of the mess area. I also did a, a couple of redesigns of some other areas, but let's go up into the ship. Let's look at some of those redesigns and then look at the outside of the ship and see what I've all added on. So, this is actually within the mess area. Now, obviously, it's not very finished, uh, but let's go ahead and go on up. And uh, I've already started uh, the uh, ability to uh, uh, duck this place up for oxygen, pressurize it up, so there's that. Okay, so one of the changes I've made, so if you go through there, you have your airlock to get to, your, uh, to the hangar. We go through this door, and this is new. There it used to just be an open hall here. Uh, I had decided to add in a door because I didn't like... Uh, how open these areas were and how vulnerable they were to a hull breach. So I figured I'd add a couple bulkheads here. So essentially I added in a wall here with a door. So if we open this door, we now have the corridor that goes into the crew compartment on the lower level. And if we go up here, we have the bridge level and the another door sealing off the upper deck of the crew quarters. So essentially that's what I did in this area is sealing this whole area off because I realized when I was building this uh, new area uh, I realized that it would be very difficult for the way that I, I built it uh, to seal off the mess area to a separate area. So instead I included the uh, the mess area in with this uh, essentially uh, stair uh, case uh, that goes up to the different decks all in one. So as we come down into the mess area, we have our way of pressurizing the lower level as well as a couple vents up on the top uh, to pressurize the upper level too. So we have a lot of vents, uh, four total, in this overall area to pressurize this area. So uh, if there was a hull breach and it was repaired, this would pressurize pretty quickly. Okay, so coming into here, now you have to understand a lot of this is going to be walled off later. You have the uh, beginnings of the entrance to the, uh, the mess area. So we have a couple of uh, catwalks overlooking the mess area. Then you have two ways to go. You can either go to the right here and go down the stairs and go directly into the mess area. Or we can go to the left here and come down in here into kind of an observation area where people can just relax. Maybe get a book and just look out at the stars and sit in the chair and just enjoy the view. So, you have that ability to do that. As we come into here, we have the main mess area. Now, again, this isn't completely walled off. But one of the ideas I had for this is to try and give a view of the outside as much as possible so that people had something to look at. Uh, and, uh, you know, kind of give it a little bit more of a relaxing atmosphere. It leaves it a little bit more... Uh, vulnerable to somebody trying to break in, but hopefully these uh, outer uh, grates here will help uh, uh, with add a little bit of security. And then I have essentially a uh, the rear wall of the mess and a door, and then more than likely I would have another room behind that, uh, which ha hasn't even been started. There would be maybe the kitchens or maybe some more facilities, depending. Uh, you know, a lot of that depends on what we have, technologically speaking, to work with. I mean, if it's going to be like, uh, again, using a reference to Star Trek where we just have replicators, maybe it wouldn't be a, a kitchen. Maybe it would just, we'd have a couple replicators on the walls here. People can get the food as they need and come to the mess area and sit at the tables, which obviously aren't here yet, and relax and eat their dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever. Uh, and then maybe this would be more facilities, maybe officers, mass, or, or something else. So we're at least leaving ourselves open for more facilities down here, but obviously this area needs more finishing. So just to show you how the beginning of the 
outer area looks, and this is more or less finished. We have it kind of uh, expand out from the lower portion of the ship, uh, and eventually this will come all the way back. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to finish off the rear portion of this uh, lower uh, mess area, uh, but gives you kind of an idea of the aesthetic of the ship at the moment and uh, what we have to uh, you know look forward to as far as future building finishing off the mess area finishing off this uh, rear section here so in any case I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this video and a continuation of the large ship build uh, we're gonna as I said finish up the mess area and uh, from there I'm not exactly sure what uh, all needs to be done as I said, there are some updates that have happened since the ship starts the construction, uh, where there are maybe newer ship systems that need to be added in. Uh, but we can tackle that in the future. Uh, as I uh, said, uh, probably the next video or two will be finishing up the uh, mess area. And uh, again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is Mouse Gunner. Signing out.